This is the plaintiff, Curlin Peters. He says he dated the defendant for about a year. And when they broke up, she got mad and threw his brand new 60-inch 3D TV to the ground, smashing it. She's also holding some of his belongings hostage, refuses to return them. That's why he's suing here and now for the state max of $5,000. This is the defendant, Debbie. She says she was forced to file an order of protection against the plaintiff because he once broke into her house and tried to strangle her. The plaintiff is only suing her now because she took him to court for domestic violence. And this is his lame attempt to get back at her. Bottom line, this whole lawsuit is ridiculous. She doesn't owe the loser a penny and just wants this whole ordeal to be over. She's accused of taking it out on a TV. All parties, please raise your right hands. Welcome back to the People's Court. Next case on the dock of the plaintiff dated the defendant. It was a bad breakup, and he says that she broke a 60-inch TV. But she says he's a violent guy who tried to strangle her. It's the case of big screen, big problems. Douglas Welcome Curlin back. Peters, yes. you are suing Debbie. You've asked to be referred to only as Debbie. And we'll respect that for $5,000 in items that you say are yours that are still at her house that she refuses to return. Tell me what's going on. Well, I knew the defendant for like... Uh, a year and a few months now. Met in 2012. And we've been dating for some time. And How did you two meet? Off of the website. A dating uh, website? Yeah, a dating website. Okay, go on. Ever since then, we've been together, you know, we've been hanging out and everything was smooth for a while and then after it just turned sour. Okay, and I note that only because in your complaint you say, yeah. we met on a dating website which turned out to be a big mistake. Yeah, it was a big mistake. Okay, I don't think the dating, dating website was a big mistake. I, mean, I think maybe your relationship was a mistake yeah, because you're about to tell me about a great deal of violence that ends up happening yeah. and restraining orders back and forth, but I don't think we can blame the website for that. Yeah. I so know. talk to me and tell me what happens in the summer of 2013. Right. It was the summertime, one day after work. You know, I usually, I usually get off late every night. So I called her and let her know that I was going to be over at her house. I usually drive. But my car is out of service. So I took the train, but I got there. I got a ride from a coworker of mine. So I got there kind of quick. She's like, oh, you got here. Like, what? before all of that happened, I knocked on the door. I showed up. She was, like, really wasn't expecting me to be there so soon. So it just so happened that as she opened the door, I saw her and another guy in the apartment. You caught her with another guy in the apartment? Yeah. Okay, and what'd you do? They were doing drugs. Um, they were doing drugs? Yeah. I smelled, what kind of drugs were they doing? It smelled like marijuana. I smelled it from, you know, as soon as she opened the door. Okay. Yeah, and then he, he just walked out all of a sudden. It's like, Was that the first time that yeah, you... Yeah, the first time I've seen that. You've never tried marijuana with her? You've never done marijuana with her? No, I didn't. No. Okay, go on. Yeah. And it just so happened that we went in. Uh, well, she opened the door. I was like, okay, so that's how it is. Like, I saw that, you know, that was strange to me. I never seen that before. The guy? Yeah. Or the marijuana? And none of Either. that. Either. Okay, go ahead. I knew she used to do marijuana, but I just didn't see her, you know, like with. So what do you do? Guy. Then she opened the door, let me in, you know, but she, and then the guy walked out. As soon as he walked out, she let me in the apartment. I was like, okay, you know, and then we started going at it back and forth, like, who is that? And I was like, okay, okay, let me just get my stuff and get out, you know, because I wasn't feeling comfortable. And then she just started fighting with me. Like, How did she start fighting with you? She like pushing me, like trying to push me around, pulling my hair, you know, like. She just starts assaulting you. Yeah, she's the one that started. You caught start. her with another guy yeah. by showing up unexpectedly early, yeah. which you apparently you had suspected there was something, right? Well, yeah, she kind of took a. How did she you suspect hesitated. there was something? Did you see something on her phone? No, I didn't okay. see anything. Okay, and she starts pushing you around. Yeah, like as soon as I was going in the apartment. It just so happened that she pulled in on my hair and I was pushing her away, trying to defend myself because she was pulling on my hair and it hurts. So I couldn't really see how my head was down. I was pushing, you know, like, she pushed, but then I, I was pushing at her throat. Like, oh, you're like, pushing at her throat? Yeah. Okay. Because, you know, I'm trying to defend myself and my hair, she pulling my hair. You know, and it just so happened that I tried to get my stuff out and she wasn't letting me get it. And then that's how, how was the she big, not letting you? Because she pushing, fighting with me, punching me. So what'd you do? Me. I'm trying to do all I was doing. I heard what you were trying to do. Around. Now tell me what you did. I didn't do anything after that. What'd you do? You just walked out. out and didn't get your stuff. I didn't get her because she had them call the cops. She went oh, how did cops. she call the cops when she's struggling with you? She went and no, I was calm the whole time. 
Okay. She's the one. When I, she's know. struggling, pulling your hair, and you yeah. have your hand on her throat, defending yourself. I stand. Okay, because that doesn't sound I, calm to me. Yeah. Tell me then how she walks away and calls the cops. After a, a certain time, she kind of calmed down a little bit. So I went to the corner. She called the cops. I was like, "Go ahead, call the cops." You know. Okay. All I'm trying to do so is So the cops my get there, and what so. happens when the cops get there? Um, the cops. That's not what happened. What do you say happened there? Okay, what happened was. I was hanging out with my homeboy. Who's your homeboy? My friend. Okay. I was hanging out with my friend and we were smoking weed. Yes. Curlin, I had just broken up with Curlin five hours before he was in front of my door. So my friend went out to Is go to- Is that true she'd broken up with you? No, it was. Okay, go ahead. Yeah. Yesterday, sure. I, I know that's what you're saying and I just wanna see what he was saying, go ahead. Okay, so I broke up with him and then five hours- How did you break up with him? Over the phone. Okay. Texting or talking? Talking. Okay, go ahead. And then a couple hours later, he was at my door. And he, my friend was leaving out the door. And it just so happened to be as soon as he left out the door, Curlin was in front of the door and he pushed the door open. And he was like, oh my God, you're here with another guy. You're cheating on me, you're cheating on me. And I'm like, Curlin, I'm not cheating on you. You know, this is just my homeboy, we're chilling. And he had all, um, some of my stuff in his hand, and he just threw it on the floor. He was like, oh, um, you can have back all your stuff. And did you have some of her stuff in your hand? No, I didn't. I didn't have anything. Else. I was Go coming on. from work. He, I didn't he did. He, he had I got you. some Go of my stuff in his hand. I'm going to keep he, asking him. You don't have to repeat yourself. I know what you're saying. I'm just checking to see if he agrees with you or not, and then we'll move on. Okay, Go I'm sorry about That's that. Okay. okay, so he threw my stuff on the floor, and he started pushing me. And I'm like, Curlin, get out the house, get out the house. You know, this is not your house, get out. So I'm trying to get him out my house and he's fighting with me to stay in the house. And so what's physically happening? Physically, he, was, he body slammed me on the floor. He picked me up and he body slammed me on the floor. And then he just started choking me. I was pushing him out the door. I was trying to get him out the door. And then after I tried to get him out the door, he just got, he just started body slamming me. And he's like, oh, Debbie, you're pregnant by me. I don't want to do this to you. Were and you pregnant by him? At, at the time, I thought I was, but I wasn't. Were you pregnant by somebody else or you weren't pregnant? I wasn't pregnant. Okay, no. go on. I thought I was pregnant. Did you tell him you were pregnant? Yes, because I thought how I you, was pregnant. How do you think you're pregnant? Did you do a pregnancy test or didn't you? I didn't do a pregnancy test until the, a day before that situation happened. Right, but why do you tell somebody you're pregnant by them if you're not? How do you, because, not, how do you know? We was it having, costs, you know, $10 to find out if you're pregnant with a pregnancy test from the pharmacy. What, what made you conclude you were pregnant and tell him that you were pregnant? Because I didn't get my period. Well, I, okay, I figured as much, but sometimes that's just not pregnancy. So, but that you, never happens to me. Okay, all right. And uh, did you think she was pregnant while this fight's happening? Well, no. If, that, if it had been that Yes point, or no? Did no. you think she was pregnant? No. Had she told you she was pregnant? She told me she was, but she lied. You knew she lied? Yeah, I kind of figured it. My friend was telling me, like, for some reason she's telling you all this just to get my money. And I was giving her money to go to the doctor. I was doing all, a whole bunch. I was just doing too much. I got an idea. Wear a condom, and then you don't have that quandary when you're a guy. But anyway, go ahead. Yes, and he body slammed me. He's like, you're pregnant by me. I don't want to do this to you. And after he did all of that... Um, I started, after he body slammed me, I started getting physical, you know, to try to get him According out. According to you, during this fight, the defendant yeah. took my brand new 60-inch Samsung 3D TV yeah. and threw it to the ground. Yeah. How did she grab a brand new 60-inch Samsung 3D she, I mean, TV? She, she didn't really, literally grab it, but she, like, held it to the floor. Was it, yeah. how was, where this, was it before she hit it to the floor? It was on the TV. It was a stand in on the room. On a stand? Yeah. So she, she knocks it to the floor? It to the floor. Okay. What is your testimony? What are you suing for? You're suing for a broken 60-inch Samsung TV yeah. that you say was destroyed how? It was destroyed because she slammed it to the floor. When? That was... Two months, after, two months after the incident occurred at her place. Okay, so she comes into, yeah. according to you, she comes to your apartment and does what? She just came to hang out for a little bit, and then we got into it again. You know, it was like argument. Okay, so she's there, she, you're hanging out, and what's the argument this night? It was another, it's all over boys. Like, she, she's very unstable. She, like, goes, like, she's known for, I didn't even, if I knew that better, I would have never messed with her, but she's known... Everybody knows her, like all the guys in the streets. That's what Maybe I was you're told. just crazy jealous and you have no, like a pathology. I'm just saying, this is the truth. All right, so she comes to your apartment and does what? She slammed it to the floor. Why? Because I saw it. We were basically going back and forth because she was talking to some guy on the phone while okay. I was in the What bathroom. happened that night with the TV? Yeah. 
That night with the TV, he went through my phone and he seen me talking to some boy on Facebook. And then he broke the phone. He broke it. So after he broke it, he was mad. He was enraged for about five hours. After an hour of him talking BS, I left. I walked to the train station and he followed me. He kept calling me. He was like, Debbie, come back. Debbie, come back. And I listened to him. And then he grabbed my hat and he spit on me. So he's like, you know what? You can't so get on the train So your response to that like is that. to go back? No, he's like, you can't get on the train with spit on you. Come really? To my you house can't get on a train with spit on you? Go on. I didn't even, you know, I just wanted to forgive him for that situation. Yeah, that's the truth. So you go back to the apartment, so what happened? How'd the TV get broken? The TV got broken when he, we, we went into his room, and he, um, this is after, you know, the, um, he t- we took a shower. He went into the room, <laughs> and um, we started fighting, and we both, you know, fell on the TV. The TV was on a stand. Yes, it was on a stand. And we was fighting, and the TV fell. And then he got up, and he walked over the TV. And he's like, I'm calling the cops. Did and you he, call the cops? I did call did the, the cops. Did the police come? Yes, they came. Let, is there a police report? I don't have that. Well, OK, yeah. so go on. <laughs> Eventually, you guys get restraining orders and stuff? Yeah. You each have a restraining order against the other one? Yeah, I have a. Do you have a restraining order against him, too? Yes. So if his story is right, if she attacked him first, is he allowed to use force against a woman? I don't think so, no. Ever? No. Just never, ever, ever? Never, ever, ever. What do you think? Restrain her, that's it. Restrain her? Hold her back, yes. So you could never use force? We would never use force. You're nodding. Yes, you definitely can use force as long as there are no witnesses. (laughs) (laughs) Oh my God. (laughs) <laughs> going inside the courtroom. So you're suing for a TV that got broken during one of your legendary fights. Then there's a $1,400 stolen 46-inch Samsung, which is what? It's a TV that hangs That's in her one. house? Yeah, it's her house. Okay, wh- wh- tell me, what's your defense to that? My defense is that Curlin gave me that TV as a gift. According to him, he gave it to you after you said you were pregnant. The defendant told me she was pregnant. I was trying to take care of her and pay for things for her. I gave her two Samsung Galaxy phones, which she now refuses to give back to me. It turns out she was lying just to get money from me and then telling horrible lies about me. Okay, so did he give you the Samsung TV after you told him you were pregnant? No, he gave it to me before. Okay, and it, and that TV is on a stand in your house? Yes. And I he's have trying a to- recording that he gave it to me as a gift. Let me hear that. Let me hear you recording. Let me hear you recording. I don't have it with me. I Guys, there. seriously, I have a police report, but I don't have it with me. I have a recording, but I don't have it with me. Do you think I'm going to visit you at your house to hear the recording? What is the point of the recording if you don't have it to play for me? I was in a rush. I... Where do you have that recording? In my house. And you recorded him how? Off of my phone app. A voice recorder off of my phone Why don't app. you have your phone with you? Because the phone that that happened to is going... I don't on. believe you. Okay. They now we broken. have two stolen Samsung Galaxy cell phones, $600 each. Wow. Okay. Mm-hmm. Why do you give her two cell phones? Well, no. One, one of them was that her phone was out of service. So I was like, you know, out of the kindness of my heart, I was like, let me just let her hold oh, it. Oh, yeah. I she think said she was super pregnant. kind. You know, she said she was pregnant. So I'm thinking she's pregnant the whole time. So she needs two lying. phones because she's pregnant. Every pregnant no, woman the needs first, two that's the first one. <laughs> right. <laughs> that's the first one. The second one, out of the kindness she of my heart, She says that I you still... broke the phone when you got angry that you saw boys' names in it. That was my phone, for that matter, you know. Why would your phone, you, why would you break your own phone? I mean, I didn't. Because, you know, you I do say in your complaint so that she the, lied and told me she was pregnant, so I was trying to take care of her. I gave her two Samsung Galaxy phones, which she now refuses to give back to me. I didn't, like, literally give it to her. I lent it to her. Well, that's, that's, what, what, said, that's not what you, you said. I'm not, I'm, I'm not making this up. That's what yeah. you said. I wanted to take care of her and pay for things for her. Yeah. That's not a loan. That's you now getting angry that she wasn't pregnant. Okay. After we broke up, I still had some of my stuff, including my 46-inch Samsung TV in her place, and she refused to give it back. She told me to come get the stuff myself, but when I went to get it, she ended up calling the cops on me, and they arrested me for violating the order of protection. And told me I could have come pick my stuff up. You people are a mess. You're right. Well, cut it out! Cut it out because you are the people we end up reading about in the paper later. What are you thinking? I just went to pick up my stuff from his house. How long was that TV in her house? It was only there for like. Who brings it? Who like leaves? You know, I understand if you left the jacket, no, I did it you left the TV I'd be there most up of the in time. her house. <laughs> but because I'm not was, supposed to believe it's a gift to her. Most of the times after work, like I'd be there like a lot of times. All right, you so. know what? I'm done. I'm just done. 
Okay, on your lawsuit against her for five thousand dollars, I find that you have not sufficiently proven to me that the TV, the sixty-inch, wasn't broken during one of your mutual fights, as opposed to something that she slammed. I find that the TV that you parked at her house for I don't know how long. Um, and you now are claiming was on loan to her or was just something you left behind. It's kind of silly to say that you left it behind. You don't get lost wages and the two Galaxy phones you've admitted in your own complaint were given to her because she said she was pregnant. In so doing, please don't misunderstand and think that you win. Nobody wins this. This is a horrible situation and you have to make a decision now. Are you gonna continue in this horrible situation which is, you're toxic for each other. You're really bad together, okay? So both of you need to look at this as a life lesson and just kind of move on on we your own have, lives. We haven't spoken for... Good, uh, that's awesome. Keep it that way. All right, and so the judge rules zeros on all sides here. Step on in. It's very hard for anybody to really figure out mm -hmm. the story, you know? Yeah. I had the evidence, but I just didn't. You know, I lost every all my paperwork, and. So yeah. Horrible. Okay, I'm now it to. comes down to are you two finally finished with one another? Yeah, definitely. For good? Yeah. No contact? Are you no capable contact. of that? Yeah, definitely. I'm fine. Okay. Yeah. All, right. all right, around the corner this way. And all right, so he didn't get anything he sued for, but the story seems so complicated on both sides, mixed up and impossible to make out. Yes, it was, it was a mistake that I learned from. Like what mistake did you make? The mistake I made yeah. was going back to his mm -hmm. house, because I knew he was, you know, a little crazy. Will you ever see this stuff. gentleman again? No. Okay, Harvey? Okay, Kurt, so in effect, the judge is saying that the TV was broken as a result of mutual combat, which means that neither is responsible.